Hello Army of Light, it's Shauna L. Francis and today is December 29th, 2022. I think we are on number 95 of the Ascension Daily Update videos. Can you believe this guys? Thanks for being here. Thanks for joining me today. Everybody who joined for the uh, final and third uh, meditation for the Middle East. Um, I thought it was great. I hope I imagine that we've made a difference. This will continue to make a difference, bringing love and light to that area. So thanks everybody who's watched it since. Okay, um, I spoke with two beings today from the Galactic Federation of Light. Got a late start, very busy day. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow will be a little more chill. And plus I'm tired of being tired. <laughs> All right, so I went down the elevator today and I felt the tap, tap, tap on the shoulder. I was like, please have a seat. And that's when I kind of tune in and I'm not seeing anything. The chair is empty, feeling into energy, not really feeling anything. And I'm just kind of tuning in, just wait, kind of waiting for something to happen. I'm like, hmm, I'm like, maybe nobody's here today. I'm thinking that in my mind. And then I hear, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. It's all enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, okay. Um, uh, sorry about that. I, I'm not seeing anybody. I'm, I, I said, maybe my visuals are off today or something. Sorry, I don't see you. <laughs> and... Um, I said, are you not, are you just consciousness and not in an embodiment? And they said, I'm in, I'm in embodiment, Shauna, but I'm very tiny. I said, oh my gosh, really? And they said, yes, Shauna, I'm actually only about an inch large. An inch large is what they said. <laughs> I said, wow. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's wonderful. And they said, yes, that's correct, Shauna. Good things come in small packages. <laughs> I said, Oh, I laughed. I said, you have, that's great. And you have a great sense of humor. And they said, yes, thank you. I have to have something going for me because size is definitely not one of them. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay, well, um, what kind of being is an inch tall? I said, tell me about yourself. And they said, well, you could say that I am consciousness contained in a small vessel. I do not have arms and legs and a spine like you do. I am more of a bioplasmatic being. And I said, Bi bioplasma. And they said, yes, Shauna, that's correct. It's not easy to explain here, but I do have form. I am in this body and I do have a high level of consciousness compacted into a small unit. And it has its benefits versus not being in embodiment at all. I said, wow, so you don't eat anything? Uh, you don't eat or anything? And, and he said, they said, I function much like a multiple cell organism might function on your planet. I do consume and there is a waste byproduct. The biggest difference being that I have a high amount of consciousness versus the multi-celled organisms that you might be aware of, aware of they do not. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just amazed, amazed at this. I've never heard of this, of a being your size, having a big consciousness and being um, in this body that we're talking about. I said, it's fascinating. Thank you so much for coming through and being a part of this. I'm very interested to know what you have to say. Is there anything else that you'd like to talk about yourself or any, you know, whatever you'd like to be say would be great. I said, oh, thank you, Shauna. Really, there's not much more to tell. I am a member of the Galactic Federation of Light and there are many of us here and we do quote unquote l live together in one general area of the ship and we work together and we do what you would call discuss things. We work through issues. We actually are very good at putting our consciousness together to help do some creative problem solving. Imagine us as a condensed form of a think tank. So as a singularity, I am able to have a high level of, of intelligence, a high level of consciousness, but then when we combine with many of us, each with our own consciousness, we create a collective and our thought power is magnified. I had no idea. And they said here, so we spend a lot of time doing just that. 
getting together, doing creative problem solving, creative ideation, coming up with solutions and th thinking through options. Then we report that back to our teams. I said, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um, I said, where are you from? And I said, I know that's probably hard to answer because I don't have a whole lot of knowledge about, I was gonna say, you know, the universe and how all this works. And then I said, I don't really know anything about anything. <laughs> and he says, um, you don't give yourself enough credit. You could say that I was created in, lab, in a lab type setting. Once we are created like this, however, we are able to reprodu reproduce on our own. But for me as a singularity, I was created and then infused with consciousness. I don't know how they do this. I was just like, wow. I said, I don't really understand. And I said, and in fact, it makes me a bit nervous to channel this because I'm afraid I'm getting it wrong. And, and he said, Shawnee, you are getting this right. Consciousness is added at the first stages of life and it's not difficult for those who know about such things. I, and I said, well, I can't imagine being able to create life like that and add consciousness to something that I created. And they said, yes, it's a delicate situation and it's taken very seriously. Only much higher dimensional beings are able to create life in this way, in this manner. But I assure you that this is of the highest integrity and done with extreme care and high consciousness. I said, wonderful. Do you, I said, do you know what density you are? And he says, they said, I reside in the sixth density. I said, can you tell me if you could sum it up? What does the sixth density mean for you? <clears throat> and then I really felt my energy shift, almost like that being was trying to help me understand energetically what it might be like. <clears throat> And they said, Shauna, imagine if you will, there being nearly no separation between singularities, just the faintest whisper of separation between each individuation. It is highly symbiotic in terms of the way we think and behave. We are, all, we are very deep into almost having a shared consciousness where all the thoughts are shared, so much so that it's almost hard to distinguish one's own thoughts from another's. I said, sounds like a group thing. Yes, dear one. And of course, it's all the beautiful benefits that you are hearing about in the fifth dimension where love is the ruling factor and the basis of everything. It's really quite lovely and we can, we can accomplish amazing things at this level. I mean, I can't hardly even imagine it said, wonderful, thank you for that. What would you like to speak about today? <laughs> and they said, well, besides telling you about myself and getting a good jolt out of you, I too would appreciate the opportunity to speak with you about the negative reptilian influence on the planet. So thank you wherever you'd like to start. Thank you, Shauna. It said, they said, the negative reptilian influence takes on a bit of a different meaning knowing that you as a singularity have been picked out of the crowd. For you, dear one, the sinister behind the scenes general influence is not applied in the same way. The way that they normally work in this situation is that they will go for the jugular, as they say, as it relates to your emotional well-being trying to get at the perception, trying even to get at the perception you have of yourself. This is where a very strong sense of self, Shauna, is so important and trusting of yourself. They will not be able to do this directly to you because of the protections and the programs that we have in place, but they will use other tactics that they do have access to. <clears throat> Think of yourself, Shauna, right now in this moment. Your poise, your confidence, feeling connected to source, feeling connected to self. There's a level of ease and grace here. Commit this feeling and this knowing to memory. Feel this in your body. Feel that divine spark deep in your heart space. This is the platform from which you stand, Shauna. This is your altar of truth, unshakable, yet adaptable and full of love.
As has been mentioned, you bring many gifts with you to this lifetime to be applied in the here and now. Know that you have further gifts, dear one, not yet known by yourself, that, you will, also, that will also be activated in the near term as needed. <clears throat> I said, and then there was a pause. I said, that's great to know. Thank you. <clears throat> and they said, your true sense of purpose is just beginning to take a foothold. Imagine the sense of purpose growing, rising, almost with its own self-awareness, its own consciousness, and ability to carry you through the tough times. So my sense of purpose being its own thing, almost with its own consciousness, allow this to be what carries me. So again, I'm... <laughs> I'm still, I mean, I'm digesting this and trying to understand it really in real time with you guys here. <clears throat> I said, that makes sense. Thank you. And then they said, Shauna, I wish you absolutely the best on your continued journey. We are also very honored to be working with you and to be supporting you. Please call upon me at any time. Should you have further questions? I'd be happy to serve. I said, thank you. It was such an honor to meet you. Um, with such kindness, intelligence, and a high consciousness. Thank you. All right, so I took a quick break, <clears throat> like a minute or two, just relaxed. And I said, is there anybody else who'd like to speak with me today? And there was the tap, tap, tap on the shoulder. I said, thanks for coming in. Please have a seat. And I'll give you one guess of who it was. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Swim Trunks, Mr. Pink Polka Dotted Swim Trunks, but I did notice that the swim trunks were actually different. They were like yellows and turquoise. It was actually quite nice, but I gave him a hard time about changing his swim trunks color. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I guess we just have to laugh here. I said, oh, I'm seeing you. I'm seeing Mr. Swim Trunks. Welcome back, my friend, my nameless friend. Let's, let's tune in. So I kind of took a minute there to tune into his energy. And then it was, hello, Shauna. I said, hello, thanks for joining me. I said, are you going to have any good news for me tonight? And he said, not really, Shauna, I'm sorry. I said, that's okay, I know this is serious. And, and he said, yes, dear one, it is. I said, please continue whenever you're ready. And I was just kind of, I noted that I was feeling a pressure on my chest here. All right. <clears throat> And then he continues here, same general um, topic. Shauna, as our bioplasmatic friend spoke about, we do want to touch base with you and talk a bit further about what you can be expecting, especially as plans are in motion for you to be reaching a wider audience with these messages in the near future. There's been a long and concerted effort to debunk, demoralize, to discredit, anyone who talks about reptilians on the planet. You, my dear, are a bit special in that your mission makes you a very prized target. They understand that you have set out to negate their influence in some way, but mostly they regard you as a traitor and a threat. Know also that they make a sport of this. While they are not able to attack you personally because of what we're doing as mentioned, they can work through the general field of society. <clears throat> know that they already have been working to discredit anyone or anything that gets close to the truth about them. And then he continues here. So we are in a situation where they already have mechanisms in place to counteract what you are doing and imagine that they will amplify, 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 knowing now who and what you are. Remember that this will mostly be through words. Energetically, vibrationally, you will be protected. It will be what is said and how it is said that will comprise the emotional and mental attacks upon you. There will, there will also be efforts to distract you, to influence your decisions and behaviors, to try and make you crack under pressure. They will want you to completely stop what you are doing and retreat. 
All right. And he continues here, Shauna, with the love that you hold inside you and the support team that's been assembled around you, you will be fine. You will prevail. As a team, we are unstoppable. What you'll be doing, what you are doing now, is building an arsenal of information that, when taken as a whole, will represent a massive body of knowledge that will be unparalleled with what has been released so far. He said here, the dissemination of information will be methodical as it has already been. So yeah, obviously through these videos and this daily sharing of information, um, not only is it an arsenal of information, we're starting, you know, I think we're just getting started with the reptilian disclosure. I think there's so much to talk about. It's also just creating, you know, I've got an entire connected story here from the beginning of my awakening to this point, to this moment, and all the channelings and everything leading up to this, it's really showing con continuity. Um, you know, this information has kind of built upon itself. Uh, you know, going back to Metatron, the Galactic Council, um, the early days with the Galactic Federation of Light, you know, this idea that I would be talking about, you know, or dealing with the rep negative reptilians uh, has been made plain to me from the very beginning of my awakening journey through the, you know, transmissions from many, many, many different um, beings here. So now we're at this point. Um, I'm not even sure that, you know, this disclosure is even the end of it. I think my mission's going to go even further than this dissemination of information. I know that there's an energetic component of this because of my twin flame. Uh, but anyway, a massive body of knowledge that will be unparalleled with what has been released so far. Well, you know, a part of me is very excited about this too. Finally, you know, really team, the planet is in as good a shape as it's going to be to hear this information. It's about as good as it gets is what they said. We here as a team are ready also, we're, you know, a lot of this is already resonating for many of us. Um, we've kind of like, yep, that kind of checks the boxes off. That makes sense. Um, and, you know, for those of you who this is just not resonating, I, I doubt you're even still watching me. Um, and if you are and you're hanging on and you're not sure, I'm glad that you're here. Um, so this is all about love. It's about empowerment. It's about liberation. This is the opposite of creating fear. This is about knowing the truth of what's been going on here. And it also helps, you know, it helps us understand why the ascension is so important and why we are at, the, at this place today. All right. So <laughs> I'm excited to, you know, to step into this, even, uh, even though I know it's going to be extremely difficult. And I've got to be strong and I've got to stay in my heart space. Um, all right. So then there was a long pause and I said, thank you for this. I said, is there anything else you want to you want to talk about? They said, Shauna, we know this must be very difficult for you to hear, much less understand and integrate. We admire your courage and commitment. I said, okay, thank you. I, I said, I'm just feeling like all I can really do is trust at this point. Um, trust that I, and know that I'm protected and loved and supported and I al already know in a very deep way how important this is I feel that all right and he, then he wrapped it up thank you Shauna for that we are with you always dear one loving you supporting you guiding you okay so that's it for today um, that was about uh, 2,000 words almost exchanged with these two beings um, you know, it's, it's one thing to have all the reptilian disclosure information come through. It's a whole nother thing to be meeting all these diverse beings that are part of the GFL. <laughs> How fun and amazing is this? Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm blown away. All right, guys. I love you. Thanks again for being here. Thanks for all your love and support and all your comments and for subscribing and for liking these videos. All right, team. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Oh, did I say I love you? I love you. Mwah.